Yo, what is up you guys? Brian here from Bang Out Volleyball. Today we're going to be watching another episode of High Q, episode 11. Uh, this one's called A Chance to Connect. And again, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Enjoy the video. Please hit that like button. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm so much. And uh, here we go. Let's do this. All right, we're at the part where Kagayama finally figured out uh, the awareness that he needed for the court and basically adjust to it. So we're down by like two or three points. Uh, let's see if they can uh, they can push through this. Yeah, this is pretty crazy right here. This is some Matrix. This is some uh, Tron Legacy stuff right here. Dang. That's insane. All right, guys. Yo, leave down in the comment section below what position you guys play so I have an idea of the positions that I'm talking to or who plays what so I have more context to give you guys. Here we go. They finally figured it out. Let's go. Oh yeah. Now I'm sure Kageyama can make that consistent all the way around. Sometimes it could be a fluke in the beginning. Yeah, see we're down by two points. But uh, if Kageyama's in the zone, I think he knows what to do to catch us up. Alright, here we go. Love the new intro, but we gotta see the gameplay. Maybe never. Nice. Oh, we always see that move. Nice up. What? Bro, this is a guy that's counting on him from earlier. Damn, that was nasty. Bro, Kageyama's in the zone right now. You're so annoying. <laughs> you cheeky little... <laughs> Those are all hints. <laughs> Yo. Dang, he's not nervous at all. He's in that flow state right now. Uh-oh. <gasps> what? Bruh. Dang. Uh, what an insane set. Why are they arguing, dude? Damn, everyone's gonna be talking about Kageyama. Nah, it's not an over-exaggeration. Over it's true! He knows it too, he knows it. Yep, keep it com keep your composure and stay consistent. Yeah. Yeah, if they're a consistent team, they just gotta keep doing what they do good. And just stay consistent. That's all it is. Keep working hard. Ooh. Oh, okay.
Oh my god. What the heck? What the heck? Hey man, Tsukushima is a threat, okay? Oh, he's so good at read blocking now. He's very patient. Wow, what an up. Oh, yep. Okay. Triple block. Oh. Bro, this is so interesting because this is actually what people, like a really good blocker, thinks about when uh, they're blocking. They do their scouting, they do their, um, they watch how they play, they know other hitters' strengths and weaknesses, and it literally, that, that thought that he had happens within half a second of a gameplay. Although right now, it looks like the set's outside and the triple block's angle, so it looks like this number four guy's about to hit angle. I mean, sorry, line, I meant line. Oh yeah, it looks like it. He's gonna turn it. Oh, he hit over them. Oh, okay. You know what? As long as the ball's up, that's all that matters. I moved too far forward. It's still up! Dump it. Oh yeah! Let's go, tie game. Totally worth it. Whew! That got me a little nervous too. Oh, what a read, dude. He saw it. Oh my god, he's so fast. Bro, what the heck, dude? They're too far forward again. You know what? At least the ball's up. What a spot. Out. Is this the angry dude? Wait, what? Oh, it is the angry dude. No, it's Tanaka. Wait, what? He's got different color hair. I'm so confused. Who is that? Guys, who is that? Oh, no. Setter's out. That's something you don't want, but if you have to, you have to. Who else can set? Hey, good thing everyone can set. Oh. What? Why is he mad? He's mad because he took his assist from him? Huh? I mean, they're right. They're not wrong. Oh. He's just moving, dude. Oh, he's reading. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. At least he's figuring out the game more. Use your brain, guys. The brain. You gotta see everything. I, I guess that's also, like, just to make a point, like, that's also a good way of saying, like, volleyball can be reactive, 
like an animalistic instinct or it could also be like you actually reading the game and there you can tell the difference when you're at like an open gym or watching two teams play against each other whether they're actually thinking that's the difference between like competitive and like open gym open gym you can kind of be like animalistic but if you're like at a competitive open gym or like a real game you got to be able to read the core and read the game well so it's it's two very different styles of gameplay um and and the reading ones make a huge difference because if you can read you you can see other teams weaknesses a lot sooner than most people um or like people's tendencies a lot sooner so learn the game as much as you can yeah see he's actually lining up to where the hit is going for the pipe oh my a big wow Dude, the Bic is insane. Up two points, another timeout. But yeah, they called it. <laughs> oh my god he messed up the serve are you kidding me dude are you freaking kidding me <laughs> let's give him the stare here we go we need two points who is this kid Guys, who is that guy? Kinoshida. All right. I feel like I'd never see him play. Aim for number four. Oh, the outside hitter. Make the outside hitter move a little bit. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh my gosh, guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is not the time to panic right now. Is this what players think about when they're on the bench? Nice, Tanaka. One more, one more. Oh, we need this. It's Kageyama. You can tell by the spin. Oh. Everyone's missing their damn serve. Yep, I'd be pissed too. Uh, let's go, one point. Oh, this is not good. If it's a server they haven't seen this whole time, it'll change the game. Oh, yep. This See, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous because he could be freaking out so much that anything he does... Could be like oh that's not a normal play and it's just like obviously just like something you wouldn't expect and then all of a sudden get an ace that that could happen i don't know but let's see that's usually what happens in a real game too oh my god it's an underhand serve i was not see what i mean i was not expecting that it's like have i don't think they've seen an underhand serve this whole time like wow is it a sky ball? Oh, it is. Bro, what the heck am I watching, dude? Are you kidding me, dude? They put him in? Why would they put him in like that? Why would they put him in like that? Oh my god. This is unbelievable, dude. Yeah. Everyone be pissed at him. Yeah. Uh, I'm stuck. Jeez. Dude. 
Damn. We're up. Oh, he's back to serve. Yeah, dude, stop wasting the chances the coach has given you. Here we go. Yeah, he's got a good point. The serve is 100% on the player. Oh my god. Oh my god, he does do a sky ball. What? Oh god. All right, let's get a pause here. The reason why sky balls are so dangerous is because especially with like a tall um tall ceiling, people can think this is an easy ball to pass. But if you overthink this pass even a little bit, that player can shank it. Also, it's just like super unexpected. You know what I mean? Like, what do you do when you see this? You got to keep moving your feet, follow the ball. But seriously, like one mistake and look at that glare. That lighting is absolutely like insane and blinding. So let's see if Kageya or sorry, Daichi can pass this. Oh, here we go. See what I mean? You know what I mean? So the other thing with his serve, the fact that it had like some spin to it, it's literally just dropping f right on top of Daichi and it could be even going forward a little bit. It was just so hard to track if it's spinning that fast. Yeah, let's even watch that again. Like, right here. He's tracking it, but it's so hard to pass that. You don't see that normally because most balls aren't going straight down at you they're coming forward at you it's basically like passing a free ball but like a really hard free ball oh man not expecting that can you do it again Oh my god, he's so consistent with it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's literally his best friend. Oh, he... come on, someone block him. No way, dude. They're up by two now. This is not good. Not good. Bro. There's nothing you could do. They've never seen a skyball before, so it's so surprising. See what he's got. Oh, they're super focused. So this is... Well, did they just intimidate the server? What? What just happened? What just happened? What? Did he just break his platform? I'm so confused. That was so new to me. Oh, that's so overwhelming for him. Damn. 
Dang. Bro, they just intimidated him off the serve receive. What the heck? Just by looking at him. That's insane. Oh, they're going to push for the third set. Let's go. Oh my god, 22s. Eighty percent serve. Oh my gosh, what a serve, dude! Number four. Samurai. Wish you were. Come on! Oh my god, I thought they saw it. Come on! It's a five? Come on, Tanaka. Is Tanaka there? Okay, yeah, the pokey. Nice. Let's go. One more. One more. Oh my god, it's getting intense. Uno mas. Uno mas. Oh, Sugawara. That means Kageyama's front row now, right? Come on. Nice up. Oh, what the? What an up. Let's go, Daichi. Come on. Oh my god, it's a rally. Come on, read him. Off the hands. He was ready to move. Come on, guys. Close this out. Oh, the big. Oh my God, his back, bro. Don't hurt it. Oh, my God. Let's go, dude. Now, that is Karasuno Volleyball. Or Karasuno Volleyball right there. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Again, if you guys are new here, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. That was intense.